we are told the two figures shown are congruent and one third of each figure is shaded. Which statement about the shaded parts of these figures is true? So why don't you read these and figure out which of these is true? Okay, now let's do this together. So first let's just remind ourselves what congruent means. Congruent is really a little bit of a fancy way of saying that these two figures are the same in every way. That they have the same side lengths, that they have the same angles, that they really are identical in every way. And we tend to use the word congruent when we're talking about geometric things that are identical in every way. Now they also tell us that one third of each figure is shaded. We can see that in figure A, it's divided into three equal sections, and exactly one of those three equal sections is shaded in. So that makes sense that that's one third. Now in figure B, they divided it vertically, but once again, it's three equal sections, and exactly one of those three equal sections is shaded in. So once again, that is one third. Now let's see what they're asking us, or which statements here could be true or not true. Statement one, the area of the shaded part of figure A is less than the area of the shaded part of figure B. Well, they're saying that this area right over here is less than that area. Well, no, figure A and figure B are congruent. So their total area is the same. So one third of their total area would also be the same. So this blue or teal area and this purple area are going to be the same. One's not bigger than the other, so we can rule that one out. The area of the shaded part of figure B is greater than figure, uh, figure A is greater than figure B. Oh, this one is less than that, and this one is, oh, did I say greater than? No, the, A is saying that this, that figure, that the teal is less than the purple, and B is saying that the, is that the teal is more than the purple, but we just said they're equal. The area of the shaded part of figure A is equal to the area of the shaded part of figure B. Yes, that is right. Now to be clear, if they didn't tell us that these two figures are congruent, if I just said I had two different figures and one third of each of them is shaded, it would actually be, in that case, very hard to predict or to be able to say clearly which one is a bigger area. Now if we knew that figure B in total had a bigger area and that one third of it was shaded, then that would have been, that one third would have been larger than this one third. If once again, if we knew that figure B had a larger total area. But we know the figures are congruent, so their total areas are going to be the same. So one third of that total area is also going to be the same.